right, Tequila. There's a hundred dicks on the wall. How many are you choking on? All hundred. <laughs> the fuck? <laughs> Baby, all hundred of them bitches. Fill me up, you heard me? <laughs> yeah. Okay, let's do some improvisational comedy. I can't now, Liam. It's a bad um, time. Let's do some improvisational comedy now. Specifically, street jokes. Now, Zendi and Ryan have kind of gone around TikTok and they're picking up on what they're hearing as dad jokes. When I think of something as a dad joke, I think of it as like, uh, I'll call you later. And you're like, don't call me later. Call me dad. You know, a dad kind of interrupting and changing phrasing around with like some pun. Only get one chance at a first impression. I suggest Julia Child because it's easy to do. Save the jablets. I'm not here to argue the definition between different types of jokes and classifications between them. Street jokes to me have always just been something important, like just as much as stories, you know? They're just things that get passed on from people. I'm not good. At, at remembering them. They don't resonate with me as well as like stories do, or even like, I just, my body retains stupid information. I could tell you all about Mr. Belvedere episodes, you know, from the 80s, and I can't tell you like family members' birthdays, like just how it works sometimes. I don't get it, but I always have a special place in my heart for street jokes because it's always been something that I grew up loving. You know, it's not just, you know, when you think about it on the whole, a lot of times people think, oh, you know, to this or this goes into a bar and it just goes, you know, a lot of times racist or something down that path. It is not what street jokes have to be or are even meant to be. Sure, there's racist jokes out there, but they're like racist jokes, you know. There's plenty of amazing jokes that you could just, anyone could tell. You know, the whole point is that like they're... No one even knows who the author is, but we all know these great, amazing jokes. And like, as a kid growing up, I would love like going camping every year. We'd wait like all year because my dad and my Uncle Frank somehow always brought new jokes to the table. I'm like, where the fuck do you guys hear these things all the time? And like, they gained them throughout people and coworkers telling them throughout the year and they just remembered them or whatever. And then they were able to tell them and it's all the, everyone else would try and bring like one or two or whatever. And you just sit around and you just die laughing at all of these great jokes. And there's such a great genre of jokes because the thing about street jokes that's so fun is anyone could tell them. You don't have to be like, of course, delivery matters, but like sometimes bad delivery in a street joke is what makes it so funny and so like laughable. You know, some of my favorite comedians of all time are great stand-ups, right? But they also have a special place where they like love telling dumb street jokes. Norm Macdonald specifically, you know, he could do stand-up better than anyone to me. But he also, when he had his show, he would have just bad street jokes and it would be stuff that he would like craft and rewrite his own versions of, which I think is makes him even more of a genius. But then, you know, have other comedians read them off without, you know, pre-reading them. And they're like, okay, I guess I'll read this joke. And it just kills. And you're like, this is perfect. I read a story. A 17-year-old kid who stole a plane, crashed it, and survived. Why don't we make the whole plane out of that kid? So, Zendi, Ryan, I'm here for you guys collecting your dad jokes slash street jokes or whatever you guys bring from TikTok. Anyone else that has some great jokes, throw them my way. You know, if we want to put them on the vlog, I'll put them on the vlog. If you just want to tell me and hear me laugh, I'd love to laugh. You don't have to be on the vlog if you don't want to, but let's go. I'm here for these jokes. Now, here's a couple more that Zendi and Ryan even got me with. Mike, would you rather eat a baby goat or a matter baby? Or a what? A matter baby. What's the matter, baby? I don't know, baby. What's the matter with you? <laughs> All right, Tequila. 
Would you rather eat a baby goat or a matter baby? Wait, one more time. Would you rather eat a baby goat or a matter baby? A matter baby? Yeah. What's a matter baby? I don't know, baby. What's the matter with you? <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. Get the fucking ready. Okay, stop dancing. Hi. You ready? I'm ready. Would you rather eat a baby goat or a natter baby? A what? Natter baby. A baby goat. Well, she's terrible. <laughs> <laughs> Did I ruin it? <laughs> <laughs>